It's time for another Defending Your MySpace Photos with my guest this week, actor, comedian, professional wrestling connoisseur, Johnny LaQuasto. When do I come in, Frank? Now, Johnny LaQuasto. There he is. That was a good entrance. I'm a little scared because yeah. uh, I've not looked at my MySpace page in years, ah. and MySpace ended prior to my sex change. So the internet's slow. Here we go. Oh my hey, god! It... I wanted to come up with a funny picture uh, to promote mm -hmm. me. I guess uh, this was terrible planning on your part because you could not fit your entire name into the frame of the photo. Nope. In terms of your social media presence, people think you're Niloquas. <laughs> Actually, it's not a bad idea. Okay, let's dig into the, the meat of your page, so oh to speak. Boy. <laughs> Who's this guy? Uh, that's me, 2007. It's the one time I left my apartment. I'm in Italy, and uh, I saw the sign that said Fanny Bazaar, so uh -huh. I thought it'd be fun to point at my ass. I miss those New Balance sneakers, and I miss uh, the youthful look on my face. Did you do well with the ladies there? Um, with an Australian. Aussie chicks. Yeah. Oh, you just made me think of someone. <sighs> See? See? <laughs> Is this you inventing the selfie? Yeah, this is yeah. me with a camera. So, whoever invented the selfie stick, give me a cut. So this is when you were John Cena? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do! This is my first headshot uh -huh. as, a, as a human being. I think I look better in black and white than in color. I think that goes for most people. Does it? Okay. Well, at least me. Because then people can't tell I have no color. Yeah, exactly. The only, <laughs> the only choices are black and white. Okay, this is you in an oversized uh, suit. Why? That's my. That's the first suit I ever bought, and for some reason I thought I was 300 pounds when I bought the suit. I don't know. I think Tarantino would dig it. I'll say this about Quentin Tarantino. One time in LA, he did just walk up to my car and pay my parking meter and give me the peace sign. For real? Yeah, cool guy. This is your defense of this photo? I think I got a job, like, bartending at some party, and I had to dress like this. I think. There's a lot of weird parties in Hollywood where they make you dress a certain way to work at these parties. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of times, we just don't want to talk about them, because of the things they may or may not have forced you to do there. Yeah. You look pretty ripped. Thanks, man. Wait, was this actually a business card? <laughs> I turned it into a business card. <laughs> what was the theme of the business card? Did it have, like, a tagline or anything? Just... Life domination. Ah! You have a pet rat. Uh, sure did. Her name was Magoo, and this is also from my last relationship, which shows you how long I've been single. You were dating the rat? I, no, life would have been much better if I was. Okay, this is you with comedian... <laughs> That's Ben Glee. Ben Glee. <laughs> yeah. But more importantly, this is you with an affliction oh, shirt. son of a bitch. I have a reason for this. It was a gift. In your defense, I'll say this. A lot of people for about three months, wore Ed Hardy and Affliction, and then acted like it was the dumbest thing ever when they had just worn the shirt three months ago. I had shirts like like that, with stuff all over them. And they were like, they had little rib holes for your boobs. Yeah, I couldn't even afford the good ones. I mean, I had the knockoff version from Express Men. Okay, Little League Johnny. Is the name of your team Al? Yeah. <laughs> yeah sponsored by Al? We were sponsored it? by Al. Yeah, he owned a shop down the street. I did not fit into the uniform pants, so oh. my fat ass had to wear my own sweatpants. <laughs> were you a catcher? Struck out a lot. So you used to be on Jersey Shore mm -hmm. with that hair? Before, that was before Jersey Shore was even a thing. You invented the selfie, you yeah. invented the Jersey Shore situation here, and that's Polly D. You invented the Polly D. I'm ahead of the game. It's where I just decided that I wanted an afro so bad, so I just <laughs> I would just throw my hair up as high as I possibly could. Did you ever achieve afro status? Look at that. No. So now we're going to look at my MySpace page, and you know the deal. Please tell me that you were being ironic with this. <laughs> I don't think I was. Really? Who took the picture? Me. What? Where? Really? Ten second timer. Oh my god. You were trying to prove that you were a bigger dick than that thing in the background. <laughs> I already proved that. Wow, well, that's true. <laughs> so that's defending your MySpace photos with my guest Johnny Lequasto. We did it. Where can we find you online? Uh, JLoComedy.com and at JQuasto on Twitter and Instagram. Have you ever gotten any heat from Jennifer Lopez by having... J-Lo Comedy is your handle?
She refuses to admit that I was one of the original Fly Girls on Living Color. You don't believe me? Look at my Twitter profile. That's exactly what it says, okay? Look at my Instagram. That's exactly what it says. So J-Lo, get off my ass. <laughs>